big carry kind in this Six Nations for Will Rollins. Oh, Watkin for Moriarty. Beautiful offload to Wynne Jones. The man they call Sausage. He's on the rampage. Here's Hardy. Is this the chance? Great tackle. But Wales still have it through Leon Brown. His pet and Ellie brought him down. Here is Adam Beard. Now Moriarty throws the ball to Josh Adams. Adams, can he get around the outside? He can. Oh, Josh Adams. And the Principality Stadium goes off like a light bulb. And it's one of those big danger men. Josh Adams, who scores the try. And it might be the try that is the Welsh salvation. Wow, the two magic moments of this game for Wales was when Josh Adams had that try-saving tackle in the corner. And now it's when Josh Adams saves this game potentially for Wales by scoring that try. Initially, it wasn't the best layup for him because Ross Moriarty does a skip pass. So this is the earlier phase of play where we had some strong carries. Win Jones, what about that from him? Fending off players, but key here was the recycling. It was a floated pass to Josh Adams, which you thought he was just going to get player and ball, they're going to push him out on the sideline. But he reacted lightning quick here, step on the inside. Now this is going to be frustrating for the Italian management. That Italian line should have come up and closed it off. You always come up on the inside okay. to make sure you come cut off. off any passes or indeed players like that being Go able on. to cut back inside. Josh Adams scored a hat-trick. Yeah, he's over there. In 2020. Last time they played here, it was 42 0 on that occasion. That one might be just a little bit more important than the three he scored two years ago. Cheryl Traore comes on now for Italy. And Daniello Fischetti, who had a superb game at loose end, is replaced. Come on. Really got around the field well. Number of turnovers as well. So, can the Italians? Fight back again, Falatoi carries. And use it! Let's take him back. Here's Hardy. Ovidi's on the chase. Caputso. Tries to get past Navidi. Tackle is made by Leon Brown. Good work by the replacement tight head. And really putting pressure on the Italians of that breakdown. Petanelli, Canoni to Sheriff Traore. Late, is he over the ball? He is. He clamps on so hard and so fast. That was lightning work by the hooker. Not for me, mate. Brilliant work at the breakdown there. Primo. Primo. No, I actually think Wales should be going for pokes here. Slow things down, just broaden that point, Staley. No, Dan Bigot's going to back the team and go for the juggler there, hunting out another try. Happy man, Josh Adams, eight tries in the Lions Tour, seven tries at the World Cup. He's got a phenomenal scoring rate. Yeah, and good to see him back on the wing. There was that experiment with him in the centre, but I really don't think that's going to be anything we'll see again in the future. Gary Lake finds Will Rollins. He really is a giant of a man. Will Rollins. Six foot eight, 19 stone, five pounds. Just what you need for a drive like this. Yeah. Moriarty is in there working, and it's Moriarty who breaks off. Set away. A try now might kill off Italy. Rollins, look at the power there, staying on his feet as, as long as he could. Now, can they create something to empty the hearts of these courageous Italians? Easily the best performance by the Azuri in this 2022 Six Nations Championship. Well bunched around the ball, our wheels are quite happy to keep on picking and going. Gary Lake again. Through the middle, can they get the ball grounded, Wales? On the right-hand side, there's a chance. Again, Andy Brace has a very close look. And Tompkins, can he get the ball released in a way? Was looking for the offload. 
Again, through the middle, and they score. And at last, after battering and hammering about Italian defence, the Welsh do get their try. I've got on-field decision, no try. Oh, Andy Bray says on-field decision is no try. Okay, so on-field decision is no try. Yeah. Okay. I think it's hand underneath. I think there's a hand underneath. I think it's Wynne Jones who piled through. Ooh. Wow, I'm staying at Rose doing the defensive work. Does he get an arm? Oh, you can just see there is an arm there, but whether it's under the ball, that's going to be key. Yeah, I believe Arm is underneath him. So he's wrapped underneath the tackle, don't have the ball clearly on the line. That was my oh, view. That's incredible yeah. defensive work if he does manage to get his arm under that ball. Has to be compelling evidence now for the try to be awarded. Yeah. Because the on field decision is no try. OK, Andy, I have a decision. Right, Stick yeah. with your on-field decision. Nothing yeah. conclusive okay. to say the ball has been grounded. No try. I believe the arm was underneath. That was my on-field decision then. OK, so there's no conclusive evidence. So it's probably... Which actually means now it should be a kick-out for Go the on. Italians, because technically they are held up. Go on. Come back on. Yeah, you see possession now back to Italy. Just wait, just wait. All behind. So we've All got to behind. be careful with these goal line dropouts where you okay, kick them go. two because Captain behind, Wales please. Would be very happy to drop a goal <laughs> on this restart. Taken by Callum Sheedy to Falatai. Slight bit of confusion there, Falatai. Lovely hands for Tompkins. Weaving his way in that Italian defence. Wait! Hardy. Waits for that ball to appear, and he was looking for the dart. Little snipe. Sheriff Traore gets onto the ball. Tompkins at scrum half, and Adam Beard helped on his way by Josh Navini. Kieran Hardy and Callum Sheedy can't get past that blue wall. Now Tompkins again. Flash in defence there was Ignacio Brex. He's made some big tackles in this game, and there's another one. Backwards. Hold goes backwards. backwards. Lewis Lee Salmon has it now. Tries to wriggle away from Italian yeah. defenders. Looks like he was bumped off the ball, maybe by Sheriff Traore. Capuzzo's going to be careful here. And he thinks he's going to go, and he's going to get caught by Navidi. Away now. Very close to losing the ball on okay, the road post well. there. Italy Last was feet. not that far from being a penalty to the Italians as Fusco finds Canone. Pulled down, pulled down by 17. Fusco to Garbisi. Six points converted try, of course, will be enough to give the Italians a victory here. And my goodness, do they well know that. Yeah, yeah absolutely Six. huge moment See. for Italy being this close. See. We've seen Evanwee many times where they've scored great tries but have been all too late. Or indeed they've led but then they give it all away in the last 20, whereas they've really managed to stay in the arm wrestle. And if it wasn't for a moment of magical brilliance, individual brilliance from Josh Adams, then Italy would still be in the lead because as we just saw there with the ball being held up from Wales, Wales just haven't looked that threatening an attack. to Moriarty. No, Sheedy, Tompkins, the footwork, instantly gets him past the first defender. Lovely work by him. Callum Sheedy again. So fast on defence. And it almost through again. And here is Kieran Hardy. Numbers on that right-hand side. Win Jones to Tompkins. Navidi on his shoulder. Navidi has caught good defence again. It's Canoni this time makes the tackle. Will Rollins comes in. Was that not done by Wales? In the contact, it was. Real shame for Wales there. Two guys, two. Real nice bit of urgency from Nick Tompkins. That's something he really does bring in that centre dynamic. There was fights in any collision. You'll see a strong leg drive. You'll get go forward. Let's try score. Let's try score. Very late. 
Let's go. Played pretty well on his first start. Come on. Now the question is, with five minutes to go, can the Italians get that converted try? Have it enough? Whitewash in the last number of years to put a fresh coat of paint on the Sistine Chapel. And this is their time to break that 36 match run. Fellas, so it's a left of the mark, heads really. in the socks. Let's go. Left to the mark, heads in the socks. Let's go, quick. 16 Wasting years as well since Wales lost back to back at the Principality. And the Six Nations having lost to France in the last game. Nervous moments for the entire coaching team. Ian Pivak's 26th as head coach, 111, lost 14. Points. Actually lost more Six Nations games than his one as head coach, despite the championship of last year. Fusco, Capuzzo, Monte Ioanni to Padovani. There's three Welsh defenders there that won Watkin. Really strong, Padovani gets a knee to the ground. Off goes Monte Ioanni. Got to keep a very microscopic eye on Monte Ioanni, Brex to BG. Or BC runs into Bradley Roberts, the Ulsterman, who's off to the Dragons next season. Fusco, Italians doing all their work at the moment inside their own half, taken on by Felipe Alonghi. Now Monte Ioanni, they've got to stay deep. And here's Bram Steen who prevented that try for Wynne Jones and way over, give away the penalty. Who's the ball placement on the Give it away, the penalty, and Josh Adams then speaks out of turn to referee Andy Brace. The space. And Wales get marched back 10 placement. metres, how important might that be? Affected the turnover. Yeah, and rightfully so. You can't have players reacting like that to the referee. Well, Garbisi knew that he had to find touch. There was a, he was a little bit tentative with the kick, because he didn't want to kick it too deep, too far beyond that corner flag. And it does give the Italians who are playing into the wind, it feels like. It's very difficult to tell. It's a bit of a twister, this wind, in the Principality Stadium. But they have a chance on the edge of this uh, Wales 22 through the former captain, Luca Bigi. His throw just has to be crisp and accurate here. And there seemed to be confusion in the line-out. They all went too early. You could see it happening. The throw came too late, and Wales Tackle. took advantage of it. OK, stay. Stay. And that maybe is a sign of that composure, that nervousness, that Move. twitchiness. Move. OK, inside. And use it. Massive line out the win. Paravani. Capuzzo. Welsh defenders up very fast indeed. Off goes the whippet, yeah. and he's through. Capuzzo is through. He might be away here. Oh, Capuzzo! And he gets support from Paravani. The Romans on the rampage. Have they found the gladiator within at last to end this horrific run of Six Nations defeats? And what a way to end it. Carpuzzo, welcome to international rugby. Okay. When you talk about rugby as a size for all, and sometimes the smaller player gets questioned, well, you thought Shane Williams rewrote the rule book. No, no, no. Andre Carpuzzo, he is rewriting the rule book. Talk about ambition to play. Absolutely backs himself on the outside edge. He's completely running away from the support at this moment, so he has to make it work. A beautiful in and out, and still has the composure to put that pass in, which is crucially important because they've got to try and score under the post to secure that conversion. If you, if you take a pass the 80, yeah. You, you still have to take what it within a the 90. For Italian rugby. You still have to take it within the 90, yeah. Yeah. Well, Gorbisi still has to land the conversion. He's talking to the referee about the time on the clock. You know, can he take his time so that this is the last action of the match? So that if he slots it, Italy win. They were at 18 up. 10, yeah. 
Big moment. Needs a big heart strike. Sit through the post. And the whistle goes. The Italians are heroes all. 36 Six Nations defeats in a row has been ended with their first ever away victory at the Prince of Palony Stadium. Now the always emotional Italians can let the tears flood by. What an unbelievable moment. And it seems only right that Paolo Garbisi is the man to take that kick. How instrumental has he been to the resurgence of this Italian team? So many times we talk about these moments where we see glimpses of what the Italians could be. And so many times he's at the heart of it. So for him to be able to notch over that kick, wow, what a moment for him.